I was allowed through the metal door into the prisoner wards. The hall stretched so far in, I couldn't even see the end. Lighting was suspect, doors appeared to be welded shut, and in spite of the sheer number of rooms, true silence filled the air. Every step I took, ruffle of my uniform or even my breathing, was the only sound that existed. This space felt familiar, but I couldn't quite figure it out. No matter the amount of doors I passed, not a single thought came to me on where I was going. It felt more like muscle memory than a conscious decision when I stopped at a specific door. They were all copies of each other, but the mere touch of the handle felt familiar as I allowed myself in. The ward was barren, cold. Its singular inhabitant was a human soldier who was casually sitting in a welded-down metal chair at the anchored metal table. The way he sat, the man was waiting for me the entire time. I didn't need to read his mind to know that he held no animosity. I sat down across from him, eyed him down. This human felt different, familiar even, yet his name didn't ring a bell to me. Hladika. With a last name like that, surely I would have remembered him, his rank of specialist notwithstanding. Yet my memory never came. All right, Dujo. I started talking, yet another name came out. I paused and witnessed the formerly cold human grin. His expression still held no malice. What's wrong, Maya? How does he know my name? I thought you wanted to know a thing or two. The human tapped the side of his head. How about you try using your mind-reading ability? We can make this easier. On the both of us. I stood up from my chair and laid all my weight on my arms against the table. I could hear my heart racing, the thoughts inside my mind scrambling. I shouldn't look inside his head. But I don't know why. I don't recall why. Only that it is not wise. I glanced up to see the human casually there, Nothing appears out of place. He seems like another human. I opened my mouth. A lump in my throat began to slowly come up. I wanted to scream, but I couldn't comprehend why. I slammed both my hands against the table, its reverberating sound echoing through the entire hall. This snap of cognitive sensation broke me out of my internal loop, but my legs feel dead. I looked into the human's eyes. His eyes weren't those of a broken man, quite the opposite. It appeared friendly, like it was towards an old friend. Yet I don't remember him. Dujo Hladika. Then I thought to myself, again and again and again and again. The more I thought, the more the human grinned. It almost appeared he wanted to laugh, he just chose not to. Yet I could hear his laughter in the deepest corners of my mind mocking me. It wasn't just his voice, unfortunately. While you're thinking, I'm just going to finish your thoughts for you. I am Dujo Hladika, from a place called Croatia, more specifically, from a city called Split. I didn't feel a presence in my mind. I wasn't being mind-read. I didn't have a good childhood. Not at all. Had to protect myself quite a bit, but that could only go so far. It's quite fascinating what the human mind does to regulate itself. Familiarity, that's all I felt. A lot of things happened in my lifetime. Could barely remember it all, but I know they happened. So much, in fact, I'm surprised they even allowed me into the armed forces. Had to get a lot of waivers, though, but they needed bodies. I tried to raise a hand to stop him, but my body refused. Met a lot of good people. It was quite enlightening to experience it all. Even you, you're a good guy, Maya. You weren't like the others. A shame we were on opposite ends of the war. I finally reached my hand out, tears automatically falling from my face. A well of emotions erupted, scattered across what constructed my being. Still, not a single source of explaining anything. The question... My mind didn't produce those words. Dujo? Ask me your final question. I don't know what the question is. The human in front of me expressed a warm smile past the coldness of the room. 
I am going to say the word now. Now when did I say that word? I took one long breath. You didn't. I gained the strength to point at him. You were not the one who said that word. You couldn't. The human stood up at the same time. My legs collapsed on themselves, forcing me to the chair. My tears rolled down and stained my uniform. I couldn't stop crying. Everything hurt. The pain was incomprehensible. I don't have a singular wound, yet it all felt like festering scars. Dujo approached me, came to my side. He patted my shoulder and presented a hand to me. No words exchanged, as I took the hand and was supported by the man. Into the hall we went the opposite direction of where I came from. Everything appeared the same as everything else, but for the first time I experienced foreign land. It felt like my muscles refused to even tread this path, unfamiliar with the stone. Only by my companion's assistance did I move forward. The bleak silence was replaced with our own sounds. Time itself seemed to stagnate, up until we came across the final door at the end. Out of all these doors, this one was truly different. The two of us reached down and opened the door together. Only then did Dujo allow me to leave. In the same way the light enveloped me, when I opened my eyes I only felt pain flash before me. It didn't feel like existence was real. Moving any part of my body felt numb. But I could hear. Oh what, doctor, doctor, one of the patients woke up, get everyone, I heard a nurse yell. I feebly turned my head and noticed all the equipment attached to me. Additionally, all of the others around me were set up in the same exact fashion. Through sheer force of will did I manage to sit up. I could see the entire medical staff approaching my position. My view was just littered with tens, maybe even over a hundred of my kind indisposed like I formerly was. Only one man was different. On an anchored metal examination table, surrounded by machinery beyond my knowledge. Even from here, I could tell it was a human soldier. His name tape didn't read Ladika. It read Kish.